Hello everyone, it's Marcia from Oils and Wellness with Marcia. And today is Monday. And Monday is a day I recognize channels that I'm subscribed to, trying to help them uh, get grow growing up bigger. Um, although this channel is over 100,000 subscribers, it's a very nice channel. They are on my list and I'm not going to skip them because just because they are huge don't mean that a little old channel like me with what 69 subscribers or less can't be recognized for that so that's what I'm doing I'm trying to help them and um, the channel is called Al Blaze that's B L A D E Z Blaze and he has a friend who helps him I don't know if he if he hired him or if they're just buddies or his name is AP I don't know what it stands for he just calls him AP and AP and Al both go uh, hunting for places to mow their lawn care and landscaping and well what they do is look for the nastiest yards they can find the ones that's been abandoned or ones that's just nuisances and uh, really nasty no one wants to go in there and mow them but they get out there and they mow them and to top it off they mow it for free so, I think that's an amazing. You go out and find these really nasty yards and you find one and get permission to mow it. And then if you can't find the one that answers the door, try your neighbors. Hey, who owns the door next door? I'd like to mow it, you know, if, if, if you don't mind. And they'll say the person uh, works here or whatever they need to tell you. And one time they had one where the guy with, that lived there was dead. And... Uh, so they said it would be nice if someone would mow it. So he said, sure, I'll mow it. So he got it cleaned up. And um, they go to these houses looking for the really tall grass to mow. Because that's what his thrill is. Get mow mowing that tall grass down. Getting all the weeds and nasty stuff out and making it look beautiful. It's like art if you do it right. Let's see. Um, just last month, he received his 100,000 subscribers. I believe it was last month. It was about four weeks or so ago. And um, he has another channel that he he has. It's a family channel. And uh, they did go fishing and things on the channel. And he's got a little girl. I don't know. I'm guessing maybe two. Maybe a little older. And uh, uh, a baby boy. Probably less than a year old. And his wife is really nice looking. She's very... Um, I don't know her name, but she's really nice, and, um, she seems to be, uh, down-to-earth type of person you wouldn't mind being friends with, and, um, they're raising this little family, and, uh, it's, it's just beautiful to see someone with that kind of a heart going out and helping people. Um, they, like I said, they go, they knock on people's doors and ask them if they can mow, you know? And that's what I did when I was a kid. Knock on the door, can I mow your lawn? Or can I rake your leaves? And different things like that to raise money. And I never thought you could make that much money uh, doing that. Or I would probably continue doing it uh, as I got older. But I went ahead and did other stuff instead. But, um, let's see. <clears throat> um, when he can't find lawns to mow, you know, he, other, he does other things for the community as well. He goes to, like, where the homeless people hang out and uh, tries to help them. One time, him and a AP went and got, I think it's like $30 worth of pizzas. And I think it was five or six pizzas. They took it into the area where these homeless people was hanging out one day and says, Hey, you guys hungry? Got some pizza. And, of course, they're hungry. You know, they have to figure out how they're going to get their food each day. So, you, Brought those pizzas in there and said, be right back, got something else, you know. So they went out to the truck and come back and they had a, a little ice chest, a styrofoam ice chest that they filled with drinks. Uh, they had Gatorade and water and a bunch of ice to help keep it cold. Brought that over there. And they all had a nice day having some pizza and a drink. At least they had something to eat that day. And Al, I, I, I commend you for the work you do. And... You deserve the 100,000 subscribers, and I'm glad I'm one of them. I hope I can get people to follow your channel. That's what I'm trying to do. 
I know it's big channel compared to mine, little bitty thing, but hey, it's good for the community. What you're doing is good for people, just like my channel is good for people. But people have to see it to know that what's out there. And if you don't share it, how is it going to grow for other people to get something out of your channel, right? Um, he he also came across a little lady that was homeless and she, I guess it was an abandoned building, a business building on the corner and uh, she was sitting in there and she had a grocery cart with all of her belongings in it and he just started talking to her and uh, was visiting and trying to find out, you know, if she, if she was actually homeless or if she had a job or find out what she, he could find about her and and she, he asked her if she was hungry, and she goes, oh, I ate earlier. What'd you eat? You know, she goes, uh, I had a piece of bread earlier, uh, maybe some Cheetos or some type of chips, you know. And so he's like, uh, you need more than that. You know, he, and he gave her a bottle of water while they're talking. And then he says, I'm, if I got you something to eat, would you still be here when I come back? It'd probably take me at least 30 minutes. She, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll be here, you know, so. He said, I, if you if you be here, I'll go get you something to eat, you know, so what would you like to eat? So she's naming off some things, you know, and and uh, so he left and he asked AP, his partner, what he thought would be good to give her. And he goes, I don't know, that's up to you, you know, like, you're the one doing this. Uh, so anyway, he went and got her whatever, some sandwiches, I think he said he was going to get her. He had him two bags full of stuff. And then he got her ice chest with some water and some Gatorade and a gallon of something in there. That, and had cold drinks for her. And then they brought her a box, I think it's either 12 or 24 packages of chips. And just let her have those uh, so she can eat whenever she needed something to subside her stomach and her pains oh. from hunger. And that is really nice for someone to go out of the way to help people like that so just you know I would like to to be able to do things like that at some time down the road but I would I would like to do that my, to myself because I've been homeless and I know what it's like and uh oh he also brought her some watermelon and go ahead have some cold watermelon while it's cold you know so she was eating the watermelon too so it was really nice to be able to um, see somebody do something good like he was saying on one of his videos there's so many people uh, getting noticed for all the bad stuff going on but why can't we have people get noticed for the good things they do you know so that's what I'm trying to do is spread the good things and and I myself was trying to do good for others as well so let's just keep building the community up and helping others and if, if this touches your heart and you really want to watch this channel please subscribe and help this channel grow even though it's growing it's going to continue growing because there's lots of people out there who who um needs love and, and care and uh tell them marcia from from uh oils and wellness with marcia sent you there because i want him to to know where people is coming from when they come and subscribe to his channel so uh, go ahead Go to Al Blaze, B L A D, B L A D E Z, and uh, check him out. And I'll catch you guys next Monday with the next person, next channel that I am subscribed to, and we will go from there. Have a wonderful day. Ta ta.